if you get the validate CRUD permission before SOCL DML operation, which is a PMD error in static code analysis, I'll show you how to fix that. In the um, select query, you have to add just at the width security enforce um, towards the end of the select query. So just add with security enforced. So it applies the uh, user's permission set and profile permissions on the object and fails on the select query. Uh, if you want to uh, create, um, what you have to do is you just check the schema object type, contact field, email updatable on the field or um, so schema object type uh, the object name fields like email is a field uh, name and then is creatable and then you um, you uh, insert contact you, uh, so this is how you um, tackle that error so you check the, if the user has the creatable uh, permission, then you insert it. Um, so here it is accessible. This is pretty much like the earlier security enforced. You use the um, is accessible um, method of the um, field uh, to read it. So if uh, it doesn't the user doesn't have access you do, you uh, it doesn't uh, go into this line here so if it is deletable this is the same as um, uh, creatable and deletable this is the object level uh, this is a field level uh, checking so you can delete the object um, the record here if the schema object type and the object name is deletable so this is a boolean so this is a um, contact is the object name here um, this is how you um, handle validate CRUD permission before circle operations in static code analysis of um, circle.